हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सर्व सर्स क्लासेस टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग द जे एन यू स्कूल ऑफ इंटरनेशनल स्टडीज एम ए इकोनॉमिक्स क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ ईयर 2016 सिक्सटीन टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन इट इज इन सेट ए एंड बी आर टू इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट्स विद प्रॉबिलिटी दैट बोथ अकर इज वन बाई एट and neither of them occur is 3 by 8 if the probability of a's occurrence is less than that of b's occurrence then the probability of a's occurrence is 1 by 4 1 by 3 1 by 8 and 1 by 5 so these are the four options so a and b are independent events and probability that both occur is equal to 1 by 8 so basically we can write that p of a intersection b is equal to 1 by 8 now we know that since they are independent events P of A intersection B will be nothing but equal to P of A into P of B. So we can write that P of B is equal to one by eight into P of A. This is what we can write over here. So now also P of A union B is equal to one by Three by eight. That will be equal to five by eight. Okay. So now we can write that p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b is equal to five by eight. Now we know that p of b is given by one by eight of p of a, and p of a intersection b is one by eight. So this is equal to five by eight. So upon addition, this will give us p of a plus one by eight into p of a. This gives us six by eight, which is equal to three by four. So this will give us eight into p of a whole square plus. One is equal to three in three by four into eight of P A. Then this will be equal to six of P A. So ultimately, this comes down to eight of P A square minus six of P A plus one is equal to zero. So this will give us that four of P A minus one into two of P A minus of one is equal to zero. So upon solving, this gives us that P of A is equal to either one by four or one by two. And similarly, then P of B will be equal to one by two or one by four. Now we know that P of A we have been given. That P of A is less than P of B. So that implies that P of A is equal to one by four, and P of B is equal to one by two. So the probability of A's occurrence is option A, one by four. So today we have solved question number forty-seven. From the JNU School of International Studies MA Economics Question Paper of Year 2016, we'll be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos. Till then, keep watching Sobsus Classes videos for more solutions and content. Thank you very much.